What's going on guys, it is Brad or Demon Asylum here, I'm bringing you all a new Fallout 4 video. Gonna be showing you all how to capture and tame creatures or enemies in general that you can with cages in the new Wasteland Workshop DLC. Now I'm sure a lot of you are already aware as to how to do this considering the DLC has been out since Tuesday. Some of you guys of course had it before that as well. And uh, I didn't mean to have this video posted in the past couple days as well as a couple others regarding the DLC specifically. But the past two days have been very busy so I've only been able to get work done on those videos. You guys can of course expect to start getting them starting today with this one as well as a handful of glitch videos I've been working on too so definitely look forward to those for this though guys you're of course going to need the wasteland workshop dlc and then go into workshop mode in a settlement where you can do so i'm in sanctuary as you guys can see here and then there's a new section all the way to the right called cages so go there there is small medium and large cages for small we have cat dog mole rat and mutant hound for medium we have feral ghoul gorilla gunner insect raider super mutant and then for large, we have Brahmin, Deathclaw, Mirelurk, Rad Scorpion, Radstag, and Yao Gui, which I'm sure I'm still pronouncing Yao Gui wrong. A lot of you guys gave me corrections and pronunciations on a recent video in the comments, but you all gave me like different pronunciations and corrections. So I'm going to have to look into that myself to figure out exactly what is correct. But you guys have my word. I will at some point figure it out. Once you guys have the cages down that you want to go ahead and use to capture whatever enemy or creature it corresponds with, you're also going to want to put down a source of power, so some sort of a generator. I'm using the new fusion generator here, which is awesome, gives off 100 power, it can easily power up any amount of cages you have in the area. Once you guys have your cages powered up, the game tells you, I believe, that you will capture things like once every week at least of in-game time. You either have to go and sleep in your settlement and wait that amount of time, or you guys can go about and do your own thing as you normally would away from your settlement. Waiting in your settlement, such as like sitting on something, that'll probably work too, but I think the game specifically says either sleeping or going away from your settlement. For me, I usually have to do three or four days in-game time of like sleeping, for instance, before I get things captured for most of my cages you guys can just go ahead and feel it out i usually put a bed right near here and then i'll just check every day and if i have stuff cool if not i'll just go back to sleep for another 24 hours of in-game time um, now as far as taming the creatures goes basically what you guys are going to want to do is make something here which i'll show you right now it is called the beta wave emitter you are going to need rank one of animal friend and rank one of a wasteland whisper you just basically put this i think anywhere in your settlement i don't think it matters where in your settlement it is i'm pretty sure it affects the whole area of your settlement and then you're of course going to need to go ahead and hook that up to a generator too to power it up and then basically you guys will be good to go with that and your beta wave emitter will be good. Actually, you know what I recommend though now that I think about it, this is a mistake that I had made previously. Go ahead and don't hook this up to the same generator because what happens is all of these cages are connected to this generator and in order to open up the cages to let all of your creatures and enemies out, you guys are going to need to turn this generator off. And if you have this beta wave emitter connected to that same generator that you turn off, of course, this is not going to be on. So everything is going to come out hostile. So go ahead and make a separate generator here. We can just go ahead and we'll do a, a tiny one right here. And then we'll hook that up to it. And then there you go. So this is always going to be on. But when you turn this generator off to let all of your captured creatures and enemies come out, you guys will still have this on. So they will all be tamed except for gunners, raiders, and super mutant. I do believe the game tells you that super mutants, raiders, and gunners will always be hostile. So if you guys want to, for instance, have gunners and raiders and super mutants fight your settlers and stuff, you're going to want to have it be in an enclosed area already. Uh, but that is basically the gist of how you capture and uh, tame creatures, guys. If you have any questions, of course, go ahead and post them in the comment section. I'll get back to you as soon as I can and help in any way that I can. And if you guys have enjoyed this video or found it helpful, go ahead and drop a like on it down below and subscribe for many more Fallout 4 videos to come. Thanks for watching, everyone, and peace out.